Hey, hey everyone, it's KCAT. So, I am at work like I normally am. Um, <laughs> I was going to make the video earlier, but I walked into a, a I actually walked into a, a spider web and that motorcycle was in close proximity of me and so the first video that I made you could not hear me whatsoever because of him and it looked like I was being attacked <laughs> so anyway um, but if you have followed me in any shape or form on this platform you will know um, you should know that about four years ago I walked away for a uh, away from my narcissistic ex um so and ever since i have been documenting what it's like to be a single woman um after that and uh i can tell you that if you if someone had said to me that you will be having this much fun in your 40s i would have laughed at them um, because not only do I have to work, but I actually get to go on a date. And it's not just any date. Um, I know in some of my videos, um, where I said I would be going on a date, I always got, uh, stood up. And, um, I'm sweating. <laughs> um, this time around, I don't think that I will be stood up. And to give you a little bit of a backstory, um, I, one of my friends, um, she was supposed, or she was getting married, and, um, the same person who was getting married was like, oh yeah, I, she asked me the one day if I was still single, and I said yes, and, um, so she gave me this dude's name, um, and uh she gave me a guy's name and it turns out to be her cousin well her cousin and i still talk to this day even though she has long since separated from her husband um and lives the miserable life um her cousin the guy that i'm talking to scarface Oh, wait. I think that was the movie that he liked. <laughs> Just kidding. I know who he is. Uh, I know his name. Um, and at this point, I don't really want to say his name because, A, that I like to keep some things uh, to myself. And if I project his name out... On this platform everybody is like well how so and so how so and so and I'll be left in the dark nah <laughs> I I just don't want to say his name right now but needless to say he will be uh, he has been watching the vlog so he knows a little bit more about me and stuff like that so um, up till that point after she introduced us we only like talked off and on for like a whole year um i really wasn't paying attention to the signs um i always thought that he was really sweet um every time that he would slide into my dms um it was you're cute you're hot you're this and I always, you know, there did come a blush with the whole thing, but I didn't think anything of it. And um, I was always the one pushing a relationship on everybody else, uh, meaning I would give, you know, more of myself to other people, wasn't really thinking about it. Um, and... Uh, um, I, uh, I didn't deserve any of the dudes before that, 
so and you know I was in my <laughs> what they call um, ho area you know ho era which wasn't really that type of vibe anyway because I just don't sleep around like everybody else does you know I don't sleep for the fun of it uh, with somebody I can't do casual sex to save my life there's always some kind of feelings whether it's the dude whether it's my feelings you know and sometimes you just don't want to hook up with the guy that you don't really like and needless to say this guy I actually like um like I said we you know it's it's cool because and it's different nowadays because I don't have to try too hard um the guy has you know this dude has his own uh his own job he works uh for a trucking company uh, he's been a trucker for over 20 years. He has his own car. He has his own place. Whereas my ex, when we uh, started hanging out, he had no job. He had nothing out of that. So this is, with this guy, it's an upgrade. And I love it because I don't have to fix him. I don't feel like I have to fix the guy in order to love him the way that I need to love him if that makes sense because it sounds so much cooler in my head <laughs> I need more coffee um but anyway yeah so we technically we were supposed to go out um and hang out with each other on memorial uh on memorial day weekend but that was the recent uh plans but if I remember right, I was the one who was busy. Like, I had to work. I work all the time. Um, especially on certain holidays, like Memorial Day and uh, Fourth of July and whatnot. So, I think I had to work and then uh, just stuff got in the way. Um, well, fast forward to like a couple of weeks ago where you know him sliding into my dms got a little bit more frequent and you know instead of me bugging a dude to talk to him he basically not necessarily bugged me but i would see him more often in my dms which was a big breath of fresh air you know and then something just inside me said you know talk to him and so I ended up you know after like the third or fourth time you know maybe the fifth or sixth time of him being in my dms I'm like you know what maybe I should talk to this guy and it you know we started talking you know and I didn't really um it wasn't that I didn't want to talk to him I was just tired of getting to know somebody because there's only so many times you can say what's your favorite color and then it gets old and uh I'm not just saying that because he's probably watching the vlog uh after I upload this but that's you know, I was almost like certain I wouldn't find somebody. So I was so close. So I was this close to be like, you know what? I'm okay single. And uh, then he came around. And the whole Scarface thing, that's his favorite movie. I know his favorite color. He knows mine. He knows that I like elephants. He knows about this platform. He's probably saw half if not all of the vlogs that I've made um hence liking my uniform um and like I said in the beginning of the video um in the beginning of the vlog uh dating in your 40s is way cooler than dating any other time because 
dating in your 40s, you kind of weed out the men from the boys, and I love it. I actually like how we started talking and all of that stuff because, like I said, I don't have to fix them. I don't have to give money to them if I don't want to. If we go too far out of county and whatnot and he starts driving a lot, I am I am going to put money in the gas tank, though. I mean, that's only nice for me. We'll see if he likes me. I don't know. Um, I just know that I'm really happy. Like, um, we DM'd each other for a day or two on messenger and then he's like can I call you on your regular phone can I call you on your cell phone and I was like yeah and true to his word he started messaging on uh, just regular messaging um, he thought that I wouldn't call him and I surprised the heck out of him by calling and I think that's <laughs> that's why he fell in love with my voice not just the videos but um, we we have this as of lately we've had this like ritual of either he calls me or I call him and we talk to each other for an hour except for the last couple of nights the last couple of nights, either I have a headache or I'm surprised my phone has been, you know, I'm surprised that my phone has let me do this video because it's been sketch the whole time. I need a new phone. I haven't found time to get a new phone. Um, I just got my debit card in the mail because of bogus charges that was on that was linked to the other um, to the other credit card so um, I'm back in business but like I said today is going to be a good day because I get to go on a date especially with a cute dude <laughs> and apparently a really loud car I don't know how I'm going to handle the loud car because I get anxious, but with him, I'll be fine. Um, and the reason why I asked him to come and pick me up at work is because A, I didn't want to walk home. That It takes me about 35 minutes to walk to work, um, but it takes me literally an hour to get home because I walk slower so yeah by the time I would have walked home got stuff you know got my stuff together got changed and whatnot I probably would have crashed and missed the whole thing so it's just nice to have him pick me up <laughs> from work and I tell you, if you can get past me smelling like a whole snack, you have, you have hit brownie points. So, what we're probably going to do is he's going to pick me up here. I know that he won't uh, stand me up because, A, if he does, I get to just to go home. Um, but by the way that he's been acting, I don't think so. So... He really likes me. I really like him. Um, and uh, we'll hit my house first so I can change real quick um, and get ready, smell good and whatnot. Um, and then we're going to go out shopping. Um, I know of a place um, that one of my friends works at, um, in a different city. I think it's Intercourse. Yeah. Um, and, uh, they have little shops, little trinket shops, and all of that stuff. And just, I get to hang out with my dude. So, it's awesome. Am I, am I going to be off the market? Probably. I hope.
I don't know. <laughs> but either way, I'm going to be one happy camper today. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I get to do. I get to go on a date, finally. And am I going to vlog about it next weekend? Probably. Am I going to probably vlog about it tomorrow? Maybe. Depends. Eh, who am I kidding? I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I got to get inside and get through um, my shift until 2 o'clock. I, I can't wait. I get to go out on a date. I'm so happy. And I'm sorry if I yammered on and on. I don't remember what all I said. So I need to drink more coffee in order to function even more. So I'm going to go inside, open up, make some cookies, bake some bread, and just hopefully wish <laughs> that it's going to be 2 o'clock. Um, but I will see you in the next video. I promise I'll have an update. See ya.